At the start of the movie, Renai is shown who wakes up. After that, she is viewing the photos in the photo album. Dalton, her son, arrives at the same time and sits with his mother to look at photos. Having the sight of his mother's childhood photo, Dalton asks about the childhood photos of his father Josh. On it, his mother responds that there is no childhood photo of his father because he was careless in keeping his photos. After that, Renai keeps her books in the book rack but someone throws them. Renai thinks these books perhaps have been thrown by kids. She scolds the kids, but the kids actually had not thrown those books but some evil power. As Josh leaves for work, Renai tackles the whole house and starts singing practice. Then she hears the crying sound of her young baby girl, and she goes to silence the baby. She keeps her baby girl quiet. In spite of this, the baby girl is weeping continuously. The attic door is opened automatically when Dalton is playing at night. Dalton moves to the attic and slips from the ladder while switching on the light. And seeing a figure there, he begins to scream. Renai and Josh hear his screaming, and they come to Dalton running. Dalton does not tell that which thing made him fearful. He only tells them that he was fallen from a ladder. He receives a little bit of injury on his head and feet falling down, and Josh takes him into his room. Renai has been searching her music sheet box since morning. She finds that box in the attic, and that music box was at that side where Dalton was frightened of seeing a thing. The next morning, Dalton does not awaken when Josh wakes him up. Renai and Josh take him to the hospital where they get the news that Dalton has been led into a coma. And the strange thing was this, doctors were unable to tell the reason for Dalton's coma. Having his all medical tests clear, they were not understanding anything. Their house is shown three months later. They have taken Dalton back to the house. But Dalton is still not recovered but is in a coma. While practicing singing, Renai hears the different voices from the baby room through the baby monitor. And those sounds volume is gradually increased. And then that baby girl begins to cry. Then Renai moves there running but finds no one. Renai's second son Foster says to her at night, I want to change my room. When the reason is asked, he tells that Dalton sleepwalks at night. As a result, he is frightened. Although, Foster's room is in front of Dalton. And Renai ignores his wording because Dalton was in a coma. Foster wakes up at midnight. He notices the front room where Dalton is sleeping. Feeling fear, he shuts his room door. Then he feels as if someone is walking out of his room. Then Foster hurriedly moves to his bed in fear. When Josh and Renai are in their room, their main door is knocked on. Josh goes for checking, but there is no one. Josh is returning back to his room, shutting the door and setting the security alarm. But the security alarm triggers loudly. Then Josh quickly goes there and checks, and he finds the open door. He shuts the door and also snoozes the alarm. Then Renai hears the weeping sounds of her baby girl. Going into her baby girl's room, she notices a man. Seeing him, she screams calling Josh. As Josh comes there hurriedly, she tells, there was a man in their baby girl's room. Josh looks around the room. When Josh arrives at the main door, he discovers the open doors that he had previously closed. Josh also does the same at this time closing the door and snoozing the alarm. He also checks the whole house. What is the matter? Is there anyone in the house? Then we also see that Dalton was not recovering even after a long time. And doctors were unable to diagnose the reason. And Renai finds a bloodstained handprint on the bed of Dalton. Noticing it, she is afraid badly. And she calls Josh, but he arrives after a bit of time. Consequently, a little quarrel is held between them. Renai tells Josh that this house is possessed, and the mysterious occurrences are occurring from that day when they came here. She thought as if there is something in this house, and things are also moved from one place to another. Renai dreams at night, and she dreamt Dalton with a demon and woke up. Then Renai notices a walking dark figure outside, and then a man enters her room, and Renai starts screaming fearfully, because that man makes her frightened. Josh immediately comes there. Renai says to him that she does not want to live in this house anymore because this house is cursed. They shift to another house leaving it. Josh's mother Lorraine also accompanies them for their help in shifting. Lorraine is left astonished to see a photo that Josh has taken his photo with his family. Renai is also feeling something strange in this house. She encounters a child ghost there, and all doors of the house are opened and closed themselves. Renai observes that a child ghost has hidden in Dalton's room moving there. Renai is again afraid. She calls father and then tells Josh that the of the previous house has also come here with them. She also informs about the child's ghost to him, and Lorraine favors Renai on it. Josh's mother tells her that she has dreamt of the demon. When I asked it, why is it here? What does it want? Then it replied, I need Dalton. While conversing, Lorraine notices the same demon at the backside of Josh. 
She is frightened seeing it. Meanwhile, sounds are heard from Dalton's room. They run to his room. They find scattered things in that room, as someone has thrown things here and there. Even Dalton was also fallen down from his bed. Observing all this, Renai is more terrified. Then Lorraine calls the paranormal investigator Elise. Elise arrives at home, and visiting Dalton's room, she feels the presence of demon there. Elise encounters with its intention as it has come here for Dalton. She informs Renai and Josh that Dalton is not in a coma. He is in this state because of his matchless trait. And due to this trait, Dalton's spirit can move to another place leaving this world. And Dalton's spirit has been entrapped in such a world where the dead people reside. It means Dalton's spirit has moved to a purgatory state. So leaving the house did not make any difference. Because their house was not hunted but Dalton. Demon is proceeding towards Dalton because of his presence there. So that it may witchcraft him. Because it is not easy to witchcraft human beings so all S are trying it for a long time. And Josh goes to Dalton. He says to him, give me a clue if you can listen to me. And a sketch page is dropped down in Dalton's made sketches. Lifting that pencil sketch, Josh also notices the other drawn sketches of Dalton. There is also a demon sketch among them. Then Josh realizes Elise was correct. Elise and her partner try to contact Dalton and are successful to an extent. Dalton could hear their voice and also responds. Dalton tells them that he is afraid of a man whose face is full of fire. And Dalton fears talking with them because he was horrified that the demon may hear their conversation. Frightened Dalton says fearfully that the demon has heard us. At the same time, some paranormal activities begin to happen with them. And Dalton comes to them rising from his bed. And he hurls everyone in his surroundings using the power that he possessed. And he also throws the table and other things here and there. And other demons also arrive there. At the same time, a demon scares Renai catching her. And Josh also notices it. While rescuing Renai, Josh is thrown far by a demon. And during this time, Elise tries to take out of Dalton. Everything comes to its regular routine and Dalton falls down. Actually, Dalton is still in a coma. And in the recorded content of Happened Incident a time ago, we are shown standing behind Dalton, who wanted to possess him and he was regulating Dalton. Lorraine tells Josh that he used to fear bedtime when he was eight years old. And he used to tell his mother to see an old lady. Josh was terrified of that old lady, but Lorraine never paid attention to it. And when she took the photo of Josh, that old lady was also with him in photos. The purpose of that lady was to possess Josh, taking him to a purgatory state. She says that she had saved Josh from taking help from Elsie. Elsie had rooted out all horrible thoughts in his mind. But Josh is afraid of photography. And this is the reason that no photo of his childhood was in the photo album. Elise tells him that only Josh can protect Dalton now. He can bring Dalton here going into the purgatory state. And she warns, it should be secret before them that you belong to this world. You should be careful. Otherwise, they can come here to possess your body. And then Josh moves to another world searching for Dalton. At the same time, he encounters many demons. Going ahead, he also finds Dalton whose feet were chained. They both meet with each other. Dalton tells Josh that there is a demon who has imprisoned him here. Josh frees Dalton from those chains. And that demon notices him. That demon attacks Josh, but Josh somehow escapes from there taking Dalton. Josh is surrounded by many demons, so he is not coming back easily. Then Renai is shouting in order to help Josh. And he immediately enters the house, dropping Dalton there. So he may return to his body. So Dalton moves inside, searching for his body everywhere. And demon appears before Dalton in a moment and tries to stop him. Then Dalton runs, but demon also runs after him. But Dalton reaches to his body running. Then we see that Josh encounters the same old lady scene in his childhood. Josh screams at it asking to leave. Josh says to it, go away. Leave me alone. I am not afraid of you. Then we come to know that Josh is actually outside the house while that old spirit is inside. And Josh and Dalton come into their senses and everyone pleased see them. As Dalton is now in consciousness and all right. And everyone is safe. Elise and her partners are returning with their luggage. Then Josh and Elise converse with each other and Josh returns his old photos to Elise. While taking photos, Elise is surprised to see his hands. She takes a photo of him. Josh has got furious about it. Here we know that the old lady's spirit has possessed Josh's body. And Josh's spirit has become entangled in another world. He attacks Elise and kills her by choking her. And during this time, Renai hears the voice of Elise and goes to check on her. Reaching there, she becomes horrified seeing the dead body of Elise. And she sees the photo of Josh, which is actually the photo of the old lady spirit in that camera. He is astonished and also frightened. 
Meanwhile, Josh appears at her backside. Consequently, Renai is terrified and the movie also ends with it. If you like the explanation, please do subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.